Welcome to another video about Studio HD. Today we're going to concentrate on audio copy paste from other programs and the new file management features in version 1.3. So as you can see, I've got Nano Studio open, and I'm going to take its multi-track composition, kick over here to the Manage page, Mix Down, and I'm not going to do a stereo mix. I'm going to take all the mixer channels, which are the channels that each one of the synthesizers are on, and I'm going to take the section of the song between the song loop, and I'm going to export all those individual tracks uh, into Studio HD. So you can see right there it's saving out the tracks from the different instruments within Nano Studio. All those great uh, analog synthesizer sounds and all the cool sounds inside of Nano Studio, all the MIDI sounds. Now I'm going to paste them in as audio so that I can add vocals, guitars, and other stuff to them inside of good old Studio HD. So I'll choose a track, paste it in, there I see all the different instruments. There's like three drum machines, uh, like I say, a bunch of uh, synthesizer tracks. And it looks like I've pasted in a, a blank instrument. So in the new 1.3, you can see I just drag it away out of the arrangement page, and it took it out of the recording pool. So unlike the previous version of Studio, now you automatically get rid of all those extra recordings. They're just kind of laying around in your uh, pool of recordings. So as you can see, I pasted in the proper drum part, as well as all the other uh, synthesizer tracks. And so now I've got my composition that I had inside of Nano Studio, inside of Studio HD, as digital audio files. And I'll set my loop so you can take a listen. And you can see that little strip of red audio files down there in the loop browser. Yeah, that one that I just touched there. So those are all the recordings that I uh, pasted into my project, and those are the recordings living in the project. Now I can take any of those in version 1.3 and add them to my My Loops bin, which lets me use them across multiple projects. So maybe if you want to get one great drum loop and you really don't want to use it in that song, but you want to use it in a different project, you can just copy it into My Loops and use it later in any of your projects in Studio HD. So now I'm using iSequence. And there I've got a cool little 80s arpeggiation kind of sound going on. So once again, I just go in and I say take that file. I'm going to name it. I'm going to export it to the clipboard. Now I know it's to the clipboard. Close that. Now I'll go back into Studio. And I'll combine that cool little MIDI part with the MIDI stuff that I grabbed out of Nano Studio. Now here it ends up on the general pasteboard. So there I've got my part that came out of iSequence. So I have uh, some MIDI stuff. And again, if I want to put that in as a loop that I can reuse, I just hit the little plus button. And now that recording is in my My Loops uh, library of loops to be used across all my different projects, not just in that one song that I was working on. So now I'll pull up MorphWiz, Jordan's extra cool instrument. And I'll do some nice swirly space sounds in that. So there I've got my loop going. So now it's time to pull up good old audio copy paste. So hit the audio copy button. 
and I choose Studio HD. It's actually in the list here. Won't always be in the list. Um, so you may have to within Studio if you don't see the application. Like here it's nice because it shows you that it came from MorphWiz. But like I said before, sometimes it just shows up as general pasteboard. So cool, there's my uh, MorphWiz track. So now I'm going to choose another app. A little uh, unorthodox here. I'm going to use Instant Drummer. This is the uh, iPhone version running on the iPad. So I've got to do a little bit of a switcheroo here. But it's got a lot of cool acoustic drum loops and they've got some great drummers involved. Um, so I'm going to take some loops out of there. Again, just go over to the audio copy. Not going to bother naming it. Done. You'll see that uh, I just quit out of this, flip it back around. And then we'll boot up Studio again. Choose wherever we want to paste it. And it doesn't have to be at measure one, it can be anywhere within the composition. Combustion shows up there. Say paste. And there it's pasted the whole song, the whole composition. I'm just going to use that first four bars of it. So there we've got a composition, multi-track with uh, bits and pieces from Nano Studio, iSequence, some really cool MIDI sequencing applications, as well as Instant Drummer for some acoustic drum loops, and MorphWiz with its uh, totally cool uh, instrument of the 21st century type of sounds. Right? So here we go. So now I can play around with mixing those babies together because now it's all digital audio. I can add uh, guitar tracks, vocal tracks, um, I can layer them on top of each other, like put all the pads together, all the drum parts together. Uh, because remember in Studio HD, not only do you have tracks 1 through 8, but they're deep as well. So you can layer one track on top of the other. So they can add some more loops out of our own collection. I can start mixing things up, adding effects, all the cool multi-track uh, DAW style stuff that you can do inside of Studio. So here I dragged a delay effect up. Use the hold button. Hold button creates kind of a preset. I'm finding a cool uh, low pass filter effect to put on the bass track and I'll be recording it. So now I'm doing real time automation moves of the filter effect. You can see the little track pad uh, if I get my hand out of the way. You can see the little uh, track pad indicator floating around where my automation move is. And you can see the uh, kind of greenish yellow layer on top of the track to show you that automation is present. Now I'll do some things with a flanger. And you'll notice up near the record button in new version 1.3, you have a way to turn the metronome on and off if you wish. Uh, a lot of people asked for that. Now I'll record some fader moves so that that arpeggiator thing kind of moves in and out. Fades in and out. All without stopping the sequence. So you'll notice I have a track free. If I want I could add some guitar or add some vocal parts to it. Um, I'm going to throw a reverb on the 
the main effects output. Just to give it a little bit of amb ambience. So cool. So there we've just blended together the creative output of multiple iOS uh, music apps inside of Studio. Uh, and you can see we've shown some of the features of New One 3. But for example, if you have a take that you don't want anymore, you can just drag it off the Arrange page and it deletes it from the audio pool that's down there of the recordings just for that particular project. And also any of those recordings for a project you can put into the My Loops library and then use that library of loops across all your different projects. So that's Studio HD by Soundtrends.